Ever felt like you're drowning in a sea of financial troubles with no sign of rescue in sight? Trust me, I can empathize. The distress of my financial predicament was like a bottomless pit, each day a fierce combat against escalating bills and impending obligations. The stress was extreme, the despair palpable. The bitter sting of was almost a flavor on my tongue as I wrestled with the harsh reality of my situation. Each endeavor to liberate myself felt hopeless, akin to an attempt to escape from quicksand. The more I fought, the deeper I sunk. The future, once filled with hope and prospects, now seemed shrouded in doubt. I was trapped in an unending cycle of economic hardship, a merry-go-round of anxiety and dread that seemed to rotate more rapidly with each passing day. There were sleepless nights with restlessness, days filled with the weight of the world on my shoulders. It was like being caught in a relentless storm with no sight of the shore. The once brighter future now appeared with an unbearable uncertainty. It was a time of great stress, a time when the future seemed clouded with uncertainty. In the darkest hour when all hope seemed lost, I turned to my faith, a beacon of solace I sought within the divine haven of prayer. As I uttered silent prayers, my heart laden with desperate appeals for divine guidance and strength, I felt an immediate shift in my spirit. Each word that teetered on the edge of my lips brought with it an immense serenity, a tranquility that overcame me, a soothing warmth that touched the deepest corners of my soul. It was as if a divine entity had cradled me in his compassionate assurance, whispered promise that I was not alone in my battle. This realization, this celestial companionship, sparked within me a renewed bravery, a resolute conviction that I could confront any unforeseen adversities that might darken my path. I slowly started to perceive my struggle not as a heavy load, but as a chance for spiritual evolution, a trial of my faith. This understanding transformed my perspective, imbuing me with an indomitable strength to weather the stormiest of situations. In the quiet echoes of my prayers, I recognized a powerful, an unshakable belief that with God's guidance and mercy, I could navigate through the most tumultuous of tempests. With this invincible ally by my side, fear no longer held a place in my heart. I knew anything was possible. As I trusted in God's plan, my perspective started to evolve. The world around me remained the same, but my outlook started to transform. Suddenly I saw a silver lining where once there were only clouds. I glimpsed potential where I'd only perceived barriers. A job opportunity presented itself outside my comfort zone, but it was a boon camouflaged in an unexpected package. By chance, I crossed paths with a stranger who was a financial expert, generously providing their time and insights to help me chart a course out of my fiscal distress. A mini windfall also arrived, a small inheritance left to me by a distant kin. It was no significant sum, but it was sufficient enough to help me regain stability. Each of these instances, seemingly inconsequential in isolation, started to intertwine into a tapestry of unexpected benevolence. The job offer became a stepping to a new career path. The financial advice gave me the skills to manage my money better, and the inheritance offered a financial cushion. Each played a crucial part in shaping my life's journey. I saw these as signs of divine guidance, creating a beautiful pattern in my life's canvas making me believe in providential intervention more than ever. In retrospect, I saw God's hand at work in my life in ways I never imagined before. The journey wasn't easy, but I found strength in my faith. It was a path strewn with towering hurdles that appeared too daunting to overcome. Amid these tests, I unearthed the potent might of tenacity and grit. Every step, regardless of how minor, was like a hard-fought victory, a stride towards the finish line. Faith became my sturdy anchor, my guiding light during the harshest storms. It provided me solace, reminding me that even during the bleakest times, we are never entirely isolated. This faith kept me moving, kept me striving, especially during times when the road ahead seemed brutally uphill. However, faith was not my only ally. Equally important was the unwavering support of my loved ones. Their constant reassurances, their relentless belief in me when my own belief was faltering, their unwavering encouragement, their smiles beaming through my darkest days. It was this combination of determination, faith, and the love and support of those around me that kept me going. With an unstoppable resolve, unwavering faith, 
and the robust backing of my loved ones, I mustered the strength to keep moving. The journey wasn't easy, but I found strength in my faith. There's no sugarcoating it. The path was filled with obstacles that seemed insurmountable. Yet, it was here, amidst these trials, that I discovered the true power of perseverance and resilience. Emerging from my financial struggles, I was overwhelmed with a deep sense of gratitude. It felt as if a curtain had been drawn, unveiling the multitude of simple yet heartfelt moments that life had to share. Every daybreak, a hearty laugh with a loved one, a warm meal after a long, tiring day. These experiences became my cherished treasures. They were minute yet profound blessings, which filled my heart with an overwhelming sense of thankfulness. I soon figured that gratitude isn't merely a reservoir that gets filled, it's more like a river that flows. I realized it wasn't sufficient to just recognize the blessings bestowed upon me. I felt a compelling urge to pay it forward. Whether it was through generous donations to charities, devoting my time to volunteer work, or just lending a sympathetic ear to a friend grappling with difficulties, I began to actively look for avenues to give back. The kindness that was extended to me became my guiding light, spurring me to embark on a journey of kindness myself. The feeling of gratitude was my armor, and it instilled in me a spirit of generosity. It motivated me to seek out ways to reciprocate the compassion that had been showered upon me. Armed with gratitude, I began to embrace a spirit of generosity, seeking ways to pay forward the kindness that had been shown to me.